This is Interillion with a final video clip of the Asu FT-1000D. Here are the replacement boards that I purchased online used. Uh, only used really one, one board. But uh, here is the 1000D. I'll load this real quick. It's 3873 uh, AM. Uh, this radio I picked up as a tech special uh, right before the, uh, I guess, the beginning of the pandemic. So somewhere around uh, February, March 2020, radio came to me um, with no receive, or very, very little receive, almost nil, on the uh, main RX. No modes, no bands. The sub receiver was working fine. Full power output. Uh, did a lot of research. Uh, found a video online from a W2 AEW. Nice gentleman. Uh, repaired a similar radio. No receive, which um, after troubleshooting the radio, it led him to the uh, read relay on the low pass filter unit. I trouble passed the low pass filter unit. Found substantial damage. I replaced the same read relay, uh, which was for the receive. Replace the, the four Schottky low. diodes, which no, are known to be uh, a weak part and, um, on the LPF board. Still didn't have receive, but when I did jump out, the uh, the read relay receive was you know, restored. So the the, um, the RX chain was being up, stopped you know, at that read relay. So I then went ahead and troubleshooted some of the transistors, the switching transistors, and they needed to be replaced, and they were actually on order. I did fa find a used LPF unit online uh, from uh, Adam Farber, ham guy. Great gentleman to deal with. A lot of uh, great used parts. I've been dealing with him for, oh my God, well over 20 years. But anyway, after I received the LPF unit, swapped it out, and uh, the rig li literally came back to life. Uh, right now we're listening to uh, 3873. Let me just, uh, what do I have? I have the VFO on uh, B on 3837. Let me switch the VFOs. There we go. You can see a uh, lower sideband. Radio seems to be working absolutely perfectly. I really didn't uh, go through the whole radio. Um, I did. When I, I did order, like I said. I picked up some other boards, which I'll show you. Um, I picked up a, a spare antenna tuning unit. This is was all purchased from uh, Adam Father Ham guy on eBay. Uh, a control unit. Now on the antenna tuner unit, I did replace. This is the original one. The one that I received from eBay is now in the radio. Uh, I did not need it, so uh, I just didn't want to re-switch them back out. Here is the spare RF unit. Did not need the board. Uh, here is the LPF unit that I did need to replace. This is where all the problems were. Here is where the read relay that usually goes bad. Uh, I replaced the four diodes that are right here. These are the weak points in the on the LPF unit that always seem to go. The originals, which are 1SS101s, are uh, no longer available or very hard to get. The cross-reference, there are several different cross-references. This what The ones that I ended up using, which were pretty inexpensive off eBay, which are 1N5711s. Just make sure that when you install them, you follow the markings for the polarity that you want to install them the correct way. Uh, this is the spare control unit. Didn't need it. And here is the antenna protector unit, which I did replace. Uh, but once again, the problems were only on the low-pass filter unit. So that's basically it. Looks like we have a nice working FT-1000D.
chimney here. Beautiful it's radio. Up against the chimney with the double-sided tape. And I also had a couple of shims because, you know, you got to keep it level and plumb. But for some reason, the whole totally thing insane. shifted forward. Best 7-3. And that caused Be well. that uh, to uh, rub. And uh, stay so safe. Said, oh, man. This I, is I hope that's all it is. So I put the clock back in position. I readjusted the shims. Got it all level and plumb again.